Hey YouTube, this is John and us bringing you another video. I thought I'd show you this, guys. This is my Mark of J class. Yeah, that's what my title is going to be called, the Mark of J class, because I'm actually using the same class that the Mark of J has just uploaded, which is the KN44. Now, the only difference I've got on my class is the fact I've got awareness, I've got fast hands, and I've got ghosts. They're the only differences between. And I'm using the same attachments which he was using which was quick draw, grip, rapid fire, and extend ma extended mag. And it does make it a beast class. It is a beast, beast gun, making it really, really fun and enjoyable to use. I do like to switch up and try and use different classes. So I always keep an eye out for my favorite YouTubers, such as like the Mark of J or the Thomas Crown, as is known on the PlayStation, or even the Lead Shot. I like to watch the Lead Shot as well, who I am definitely a big fanboy all the lead shot and then no homo way so here we are just looking for the enemies trying to take them out and as you can see i'm rocking with my swindler camo as well i love this camo it's absolutely beast with the moving animation that goes around the whole of the gun makes it really really fun so i'm just looking for the enemies just checking all my areas because i could hear people around me making sure that they're all friendly and here's my first newbie mistake, reloading. Always make sure that when you kill someone, you get ready for the next one. I've got extended mag on, so there's really not any need to reload in there. You can at least kill three enemies. Now, if you hear here, the actual sound disappeared because I was, I was cursing a little bit. That guy there, I really thought I killed. You know, I put that many shots down that area and I'll just kill him and it just, I just simply couldn't kill him. So I had to pause it, uh, the volume on that part. I had to make the volume quiet, I should say, on that piece because I didn't want people to hear me, you know, cursing at this guy. And again, I was saying a few words that I thought I, I don't really want that to be uploaded into a YouTube video, so I decided to mute it out. So I'm here just looking for an enemy. Someone just got gravity spiked, but then I took him out straight away. I'm just keeping an eye out for enemies, just making sure my awareness, making sure I know where enemies are. I keep looking up on my map to obviously check where enemies might be shooting from. And there we go, another enemy. Just remember guys, while they're not shooting, obviously they're not displayed on the map, so try not to go too crazy and just completely stare at the map all the time, otherwise you're gonna get yourself killed. So I saw that enemy over there, so if I duck out, Fire a few hives around. And come to the area. Just check out, see where the enemies are. Run down to possibly where the enemies may be spawning. Hive going to work. <clears throat> I do love the hive. The hive is a really, really good weapon to use. As it always can cover your back. Because yes, you've got teammates trying to help you out as well, but sometimes they're not as good as what you expect them to be. So you can end up leaving one of them to try and cover your back and then you get killed, which is not good. As you saw before, I was just trying to wall bang someone. So I've got the bloodthirsty, and now I'm dropping in my UAV. Now I thought I was behind cover. Maybe I should have slid there instead of jumping. Maybe I still made myself a target. So far, I'll go back and get my revenge on that enemy. So, I'm just now going to run back up to the top as you can see the enemies. I always take this piece of cover here because generally you get people camping in this area. That's a nice little head glitching spot that was just on just to throw the enemy off guard. So, I'm just looking as fun as a firing down there, obviously, making sure there's going to be no enemy. Always make sure that you check out guys and I was covering her back as well as I thought someone would be coming around the back. Nice little double kill there. And unfortunately guy runs in with a shotgun. There was no chance. I was already really really injured by gunfight with two. One shot I knew I was so that's why I was waiting in the corner to try and regain some health unfortunately. Rushed and shot by a shotgunner. Maybe I should have kept on running out the door. Probably would have been the more 
sensible thing to do, get away, try and get to the cover of teammates, and then come back. But hey, it is what it is. I'm just coming around, heard some footsteps. And then come in now with some more hives. I thought I'd come back through, then I saw an enemy and I thought, oh god, I'm reloading. Another really bad reloading take. And then I thought I'd hide here. As you can see, his laser gun just above. I'm thinking, I'm not going to move, I'm just going to sit here. I'm just going to sit here and wait. And then you could hear him running off. Because there was two of them as well. There wasn't just the one. There was two enemies at the same time. And I, I didn't really want to risk it. As you can see, he just jumped over there. The other enemy I just killed. So in that situation, I didn't really have much choice. I didn't want to get killed. I was on a good streak. As you can see, I've got two kills to look at my UAV. And it is really, really close. Neck and neck, 62 to 62. 63 now to 63, so we were really, really close matched in this game. Friendly just disappearing. Don't know why I'd want to use his special ability down there, but okay. So I'm just looking for enemies. Could hear him walking along the top. Then I come back down. Saw this enemy jump. Then there was another enemy there, and I thought, should I challenge? I thought, I better not. So I, I ran back into the building, as he'd already know I, I was there. It was, you know, it was a bit risky, but then I saw a load of friendlies in the area, so I knew it was a bit safer. And there's a guy on top, as you can see, so I thought I'll go around and flank him, rather than trying to just directly challenge him. And then he was going away, so I tried to get him, but friendly managed to annihilate his ass. So the hive's going again to work. Busted. And there's one enemy. Then I could see one to my right. So far, I'll go and challenge this guy. And then there's another. And then I went off here. And then there's another enemy on top. And I even jumped up and killed this enemy. Look at that. That's how it's done. Jump shop dogfight. And I don't know what happened there, but I called my wraith in. And as you can see, it went all the way over to the right. Because obviously I was trying to be really, really quick. Well, luckily, it didn't actually drop it at that time. So I managed to call it in, in the proper position. And then I've got my hard and sentry. So 92 kills. So not too many kills now to the end. There we go. And quad feed. Look, quad feed with the rage. And if I'll drop some hives around... A sentry, just in case anyone tries to take it out. And there we go. Ended up getting an epic end kill with the Wraith. And I went 31 and 5 in this gameplay. Well, I hope you enjoyed this Mark of J tryout class. I really enjoyed using it. It is absolutely beast. Definitely try it out with Quick Draw, Grip, Rapid Fire, and Extended Mag. Pick any perks you want, as I did. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like this, guys. And this is John Owen S. Signing out, guys. And as always, I salute you. Show them those muscles.